I'm tearing my mom up, dude. I've already... Uh, you don't want to pipe down the nun a little bit? No! What? I'll take floppy 9000. We're catching on. Yeah. Keep the, the video. Do not send, send, the send the video. Send the video. Send the video. You imagine taking a sh** and you hear the little... Carter. <laughs> you, you broke up with a demon on her birthday. Wait, hold on. Were you the same guy that said you had witchcraft performed on you by your ex? And then you overdosed from it? You know. All right, give it up for Boogie Board and Naked! You wanted to ask me out? Welcome to Haunted Homies with Matt Rife, Elton Caste, and Corey Shearer. A show about all things that haunt you. From ghosts and monsters to worse life decisions, bad breakups, embarrassing moments, and unforgettable stories. All told live from within Comedy Club. Nice. Oh, thank y'all like so much for coming. Bro, y'all so drunk already. It's so <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Jesus Christ, If we man. kick out less than two people this show, you guys will set the record for the night, okay? Oh, yeah, the last show was fucking chaos. So everybody yeah. just, so everybody just broke chill out. the fuck out. Swear to God, a fight broke out right right there. You guys yeah. are actually sitting in it. Yeah. yeah. They, were, <laughs> they were lesbians, though, so it was fucking hot, dude. It was probably <laughs> one of the sexier fights I've ever seen in my entire life. It was, uh, it was a yeah. good time. <laughs> It was sick. You guys seem uh, drunker, but more cool. <laughs> it's interesting. I feel like you guys are going to be down for a lot more sh man. Thank you all so much for coming out. Yeah, thank you. Late late Monday night, and you guys are all here. So, round of applause to yourselves. Yeah, make some noise. We got work in the morning. Yeah! Ooh. Yeah! Getting four hours of sleep. You guys are so <laughs> Oh, my Okay, God. okay. But before we start the show... I don't know if a lot of you guys recognize this, but Elton, try, try talking. Just talk. Real yeah, quick. I can't really talk that well right now. This is me trying my hardest to speak normally. Yeah. Um, so apologies in advance that I sound like I'm going through puberty, but it is what... He <laughs> has always had the lisp, though. That, that, that's not like a new thing. That's not yeah. a sickness. Don't I've worry. always had a lisp. My balls have never dropped, but here we are together. <laughs> Elton threw up for what, like four hours straight yesterday? Yeah, out of, out of absolutely nowhere, I just, I died. Yeah. And for four hours, it was the worst pain I've ever been in and just vomited and vomited. And I know you guys are eating, sorry. For and, no reason? And th I don't know why. I, I have absolutely no idea at all. It just I have happened. an idea. What's the idea? Okay, so this is my theory. Okay, for everyone that doesn't know, Elton is the one in the paranormal group that says he doesn't really believe and he tries to test the demons. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, good. In our house, literally in Elton's office, there's over, what, 50, like, Dybbuk boxes and haunted items and all these cursed objects, right? Uh, yeah, at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it so funny that we're good. We're like, good. we feel completely fine, but yet the guy that sleeps with a demon... In his office. Oh, don't call don't call Ginger a demon. No. <laughs> Ginger's his girlfriend. Yeah, no. I probably should have said that. Sorry. So that's just I, just, I find it funny. I, I don't know. Like the odds of literally the beginning of tour and your voice is gone. It's a bit suspicious, don't you think? Or it's just that I work a lot and I'm tired. I've literally watched you offer your soul to the devil like eight times. You don't think you don't think this is the devil just throat you in your sleep? <laughs> You don't think there's any possibility of this? Wait, so you don't, do you think the devil's just playing hard to get? Because the last time I offered that was like eight weeks ago, and he just waited a few weeks to be like, let me get him when he's yeah, not well, suspecting. He's not going to go on your time. That's not how a fantasy works. <laughs> you gotta, it, can't be, it can't be when you want it, dog. And now look at you. On stage, no voice. Down. Damn. Wow. Okay, wait. I got a question for y'all. If you knew that once you died, you would become a ghost, what kind of ghost would you become? Like, would you haunt people? Would you just be chilling? Like, would you just be a ghost that, like, flies to cruise ships and then you just sit on the Mickey boat all year? Ooh, ooh, I know what I would be. Huh. I'd be a ghost that had ice cubes for hands and just would always make people's soft right when they didn't kneel on it. Wait, what? I just want to go... I just want to go... I house. just want to completely destroy the male psyche. And every time some dude's about, like, oh, I'm about to f*** this hot bitch. Nope. <laughs> That's it. That's all I want to do. No one, no one would ever think it's paranormal. Wow. You're the worst. Dude. I would be the only ghost that would never get caught. You would never catch me. It would just be whiskey. Nope, just me as a ghost. Just, ooh, tiny d <laughs> huh. That's an interesting ghost. I've never heard of that kind. I don't want to hurt anyone. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. What about you, Matt? I think maybe I'd want to be a shadow figure. A shadow figure? Yeah. 
I feel like one. it's as close as I can get to being black, like <laughs> in the afterlife. That's not racist, it's spiritual. <laughs> Just kind of curious. And also what I love about shadow figures is like, they're, they're kind of the most mysterious of the ghosts. Like nobody knows who they really are. Yeah, and I think that's kind of the fun in it. You know what I mean? Like some yeah. people, yeah, shadow figures are often like the doorways of a bedroom and somebody's like, grandma? You're like, no, it's <laughs> We never really know who a shadow figure is. Like that, that to me is appealing about it. I can see that. Okay. What about you? Who would you be? Or what would you be? <sighs> Let me think. I think I'd want to be like a gay ghost. Bro, you're, an, you're a gay alive. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> How much gayer would you get after <laughs> like, death? Like, I just <laughs> run around like, boo. <laughs> boo. You know, but like, I want it, I want it haunt like, Normal places, like I would haunt like a J.C. Penney's or something, you know. That like is I one would... of the gayest places you could right? haunt. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, this skirt for forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Boo. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm hiding in an aisle. People are constantly walking by, and they just hear boo. But I'm not trying to scare them. I'm just like judging them. Yeah. <laughs> really? You're gonna wear those jeans with a denim jacket? Boo. We like could combine this. superpowers and just only go after straight guys. You're like, boo, and I'm like, tiny t <laughs> anytime, wow. they fuck, anytime they try and have straight sex, we're like, nope. <laughs> wow, we would be great ghosts. <laughs> Bro, what? And he's a shadow figure just watching in the corner. <laughs> oh, he's the c He's the <laughs> He's just hiding back there as a shadow. Okay, that was funny. Stupid. That was good. Stupid. That would be the worst Disney character ever. Donald Cuck. Donald Cuck? Just... Carter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome to the Haunted Homies podcast, uh, where we talk about paranormal yeah, stories. We also don't know what's going to happen. We want to play a game with you guys. You guys down for that? Yeah? Yeah? Let's do okay, it. so who's familiar with Would You Rather? Okay. Right? Okay. Right? So, I guess the way the game is going to go, we have some stuff that was already pre-written back there in a jar. And we have to pull it out, and whatever it says on the piece of paper, that is our would you rather. And so we're all competing to get you guys to cheer for our answer. You know what I'm saying? You get it? So you guys have to che You guys are basically the would you rather. We're going we're gonna to give you our proposals, try to sell you our point, and then you guys, we're going to do a... A round of applause at the end for who you guys think you would choose. Fair? Everybody yeah. understand the rules? Fair. Pretty it's basically would simple. you rather versus. Okay. Because we're all very argumentative. That's why we ghost hunt together to argue <laughs> about things. This is a great way to argue yeah. a little bit, warm up a little bit. We've been friends for years. We've gone on so many adventures, and we still argue the fact that you don't think ghosts are real, and it drives me insane. Yep. Do you understand? They're not. What are you saying, bro? They're not real. You have been to the same place as I've been and seen the exact same thing. And then isn't that crazy? Like, oh, that's a crazy thing that that would happen. Yeah. And isn't that crazy? I've been in all the same places as you. Round of applause. Who believes in ghosts? Like, who's like for sure this real? Thank you. You don't believe? What do you believe in? Just fucking creatine? You fucking strong dude? Oh my god. Yeah, they're no. real, dog. Why don't you believe? Because you haven't experienced it? You ever done anal? No, on you. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not real. Right, Corey? That's a good point. Yeah. But I have seen it. He said he's seen he's anal. He's seen it? All right. Ooh. <laughs> I've seen it, though. He's Donald Cook. I think, <laughs> I, think I feel something. All right, who wants to draw, who wants to draw first? Let, let's have you two go against each other. Me versus Matt? Yeah, you two go against each okay. other. All right. Go ahead, baby boy. All right, again, to clarify, their goal is to argue to you why you would rather do what they have pitched. That's your, you're cheering for the thing you would much rather do as opposed to the other person. Okay, would you rather get unlimited McDonald's, but you have to summon a portal in every McDonald's bathroom you get food from? That's not that bad. Or every time someone sings happy birthday, you have to take your pants off and streak the entire length of the song. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Uh, <laughs> all right, as long as it's this version, okay? Because the black version is like seven minutes long. 
<laughs> it's a much longer happy birthday song, bro. Is it really? Yeah, I mean, you've never heard it? No. Are there any black people here at all? <laughs> happy birthday to ya. Okay, okay. Happy birthday <laughs> to <laughs> ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Did you guys even celebrate February? What the f***, Ontario? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. That's how long your would have to be out if you choose, if you choose this one. <laughs> so would you rather? What was yours again? It was get unlimited McDonald's, but you have to summon a portal in every McDonald's bathroom. You sound like you'd be doing the janitor's a favor. That sounds like you're using a glory hole in the McDonald's bathroom. <laughs> get unlimited McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Is Big Mac in there? <laughs> Who ordered the small fry? Is that sweet and sour? God, I said no pickles. Yeah. <laughs> or someone you have to streak every time someone sings happy birthday. It's someone's birthday all the fucking time. And yep. women have month-long birthdays. That is true. So that's pretty much every day, multiple times a day. Okay, all right, listen. Cause as Say a you're working with some magic, right? You got a good piece on you. You want people to see it. You would go on Facebook and be like, hmm, whose birthday is it today? <laughs> Seven friends. Is it, is it your birthday? <laughs> it's your 50th birthday. God, I mean, congratulations. That's, um, happy birthday. But every time they got to celebrate, you were like, ah, right, here's, here's, here's your gift. <laughs> and then you just got a little ribbon. Now I have to get naked. It's your birthday. I feel like we should see your suit. You know, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Remember, this is what's going to happen to you. Anytime someone sings happy birthday, you are the one that has to get naked. Not yeah. you. Yeah, it's, it's not, not me, you. It's you guys. <laughs> yeah, you f perverts. Yeah. If you have See? kids, you're not attending any birthdays ever again. Yeah, I don't think so. See? Unlimited McDonald's doesn't sound that bad now, does it? <laughs> I mean, if you have an unlimited McDonald's, nobody's going to want you to take your pants yeah. off when, you, when they sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> If you would rather have unlimited McDonald's but have to summon a portal in a bathroom every single time, make some round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. So that means everyone else here would rather get naked and streak around every time they have the birthday song. That makes no sense, you degenerates. <laughs> What's wrong with that? How good are y'all's <laughs> You're like, I hope it's somebody's birthday because <laughs> uh, they got to see it. Would you rather have unlimited food or get naked? <laughs> naked! Duh! Oh my god. I'm trying to beat up this pinata, dog. <laughs> oh god. All right, so I win that round. I guess one point face. for Matt. One In point for Matt. Now me versus Elton? Yeah. King of the castle? Right. King of the castle. I'll pick two and I'll give you the one since you're the reigning champ. Um, I cannot believe Matt took yeah. that. I'd be taking it. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what that meant. Wait. <laughs> All right. I think this is a harder one for you to argue. Uh-oh. Enjoy. One of the main points of this show is we like to hear your guys' paranormal stories. It could be anything from a ghost experience, something that happened to you growing up, or it could even be just a memory that has haunted you. And uh, the stories we got tonight are pretty insane. We'll start it with a spooky one, and then I have a lot of questions for this guy. The log line says, my ex-girlfriend was doing a lot of witchcraft on me. Is that a normal thing? Like, make some noise if you've had someone that you dated do witchcraft on you. What? Virgins. That is an abnormal response. <laughs> Did you really? We'll get to you in a second. What's this, what's this experience first? Okay, so it starts like it's this. It's kind of hot. My ex-girlfriend was doing witchcraft on me. She'd be taking my baby teeth, my blood, my fingernails, and my hair. It got so crazy that she'd see demons on FaceTime when I would talk to her, and it led to a moment that changed my life forever on her birthday, actually. And it ends there. She took his hair, his it, nails, and his baby. Was she a Roomba? <laughs> Just picking up shit off the floor? 
What the? I mean, I get I'm, what to do, spells, right? That's why she would be using all that How stuff? is she getting the baby teeth? Did she go to her mom or go to his mom? Yeah, is the story written by a nine-year-old? How old is the person? 21. 21? 21, yeah. I mean, uh, look, I mean, I, w- all right, would you rather <laughs> <laughs> your girl is stealing your baby teeth or she has an OnlyFans? <laughs> OnlyFans? All right. Oh, all right, not women who have OnlyFans, okay? Everybody else. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's got to be somebody's OnlyFans, right? Where they're just like pulling out their baby teeth. I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't think the age requirements are met in that situation. Probably not. <laughs> Good point. Uh, it, en- it ends talking about her birthday, but yeah. what happened on the birthday? Yeah, where's uh, David? David, where are you at? Where? Oh, you walking up? There he is. Of hey. course he doesn't have sleeves on. <laughs> Oh, no, she took his sleeves. Hey, give it up for David, y'all. David. What up, dog? What up, man? Cursed. What's up, man? All right, dude, you got to, so you got to walk us through this experience. Like, tell us, tell us a little bit about the relationship, how it started to get incorporated. She started doing, like, witchcraft on you, and then end on what happened with this birthday, dude. Oh, for sure. So, yeah. Also, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Some good teeth, okay? Just making sure. Making sure. Making sure. Go ahead. So, yeah, like, um, I just graduated from high school, and I uh, met this girl on Instagram, and we started talking and everything, and um, she would be telling me that she would be into witchcraft and stuff. I would be into playing Ouija boards, and I would be going to haunted places and stuff around this time, too. Like, I've seen doors slam by themselves and everything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, literally like since uh, sixth grade. So basically, uh, when I was dating her, she would be asking me questions like, oh, could I have your baby teeth? I didn't think nothing of it, so I just started giving it to her. Wait! Wait! <laughs> I get mad if my girlfriend takes my sweatshirt. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Like, girls, girls steal the boyfriend's hoodies, yeah. and she's just got a little necklace of teeth. <laughs> What? So what, she randomly one day was just like, hey, do you know where your baby teeth are? Yeah, literally just one random day, yeah. Did you give them to her? Yeah. <laughs> how how long... young and horny guys are, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, totally, whatever. As long as there's less in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How far into this relationship were you when you gave her your teeth? Like, uh, like a week. A week? Dude! There Start no with way. a promise ring or something. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. So you you, you gave her the, the teeth and and then had the relationship progress. So yeah, she'd be asking me questions like, oh, could I have your fingernails and stuff? <laughs> what? Did she say what she was using any of this for? Uh yeah, yeah. What'd she say? She was basically saying, like, we would be cuddling, and she'd be like, could I have your fingernails and your toenails when you clip them? I didn't think nothing of it, though. That, that what was... do you mean? <laughs> Who did you date before this that you were like, oh, another one of these? <laughs> oh, the classic toenail. God, were you La Llorona? What the f***, dude? <laughs> okay, continue. So, yeah, like, she'd be asking that and stuff, and I'd be uh, just giving it to her. And this one time I was in her kitchen and I was like cutting a fruit or something and I cut myself and she's like, oh, don't do nothing. She comes and like takes my blood and she's like, you're okay now. What? Okay, let me ask. You didn't take anything of this. This is a kinky relationship. (laughs) At this point, you've now given her baby teeth, fingernails, and blood. Yeah. Have you had sex yet? I... That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. (laughs) I Dude, I, I swear, I, I swear she's gonna f*** me. I just gotta give her my baby teeth. <laughs> one more fingernail, one more nail. What? That's all she did. The only thing he would let her do is he had to wait till she got on her period. And he was like, stay right there. <laughs> Getting her blood as well. <laughs> what the f***, David? <laughs> okay, continue. So, yeah, like, uh, we would be on FaceTime and stuff, too, and she would be talking about, like, demonic spirits and stuff, and I remember, like, my parents would tell me that uh, Jesus Christ said that one-third of the angels fell from heaven, so I just knew these were fallen angels that she was seeing 
on on FaceTime. Yep. And I thought at first I was like, maybe she's just saying things, but no, as the relationship progressed, no, she actually was saying those things. Well, she saw she she, she said she saw demons. Yes. Like around you in her home. Just around like uh, on her FaceTime. We were on FaceTime when on she face- was saying that's that. That's, that's bad service. Just <laughs> That's, you know, it's a little dog filter. You know how you can put filters on FaceTime now? <laughs> a little devil filter. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, so she, said, she claimed to have seen demons. At what point did you realize she was doing witchcraft on you? So she would kind of like... Uh, so the way she would say it, too, she was like, I'm doing witchcraft on you, but I thought she was just she joking just around. It. <laughs> just said it? No, 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 but tell me the way she said it. Go ahead. That'll make it better. <laughs> I think even, like, her ex-boyfriend, she had, like, a voodoo doll of him. But she told me that after the fact. What? Yeah. Did she ever do anything to the voodoo doll while you guys were together? Um, she never told me about it. It's Until when we after. broke up, she told me about it. Oh, as a warning. As a warning, yeah. like, I'll f*** you up, too. Basically, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I can't... How many teeth did you give her? You're oh, just, still just stuck one. on the teeth? I think it was, yeah, like... Dude, how are you not <laughs> stuck on the teeth? Wait, it was just like one or three. Is that why what? she you say won? one or three? Wait, one to three? What? Did you say one to three? <laughs> you said one or three. Yeah, I, yeah I one know of there's those a number two. in between that, right? We all know the difference between one or three. <laughs> you know there's a number in between that, right? Yeah, maybe two, maybe. Okay. <laughs> like, sure. So wait, did she ask your parents for the baby teeth? No, my, uh, my parents didn't care for her. Okay. <laughs> they didn't care for her. You okay. have great much. parents, David. <laughs> yeah. they have phenomenal intuition. It sounds like your parents didn't care for you either. <laughs> How oh, are no, you the yeah. baby tooth? <laughs> no, like uh, my parents yeah, didn't know any the f- tooth fairy. Your parents didn't know any no, of this. No, they didn't know any of this. They still ne- don't next know time, this. N- they still don't know this. <laughs> Not really. What They're the going f- do now? <laughs> Okay. Your parents don't know about this. Uh, not like these details specifically, no. This is, this is how your parents are going to find out that you pretty gave much. away your baby teeth to a demon. Pretty, oh uh, yeah, pretty much. Now what, which, now what officially witchcraft did she, did, she, did she tell you any spells that she did towards you or at you or on um, you? Um, well. Can you, ch- can you show me where on the bottle? <laughs> she, she put the hex on you. <laughs> what happened to you? Now, like, we would uh, be cuddling, and she'd be, like, poking out my hairs from my head, and I'd be like, what are you doing? Scalp my shot. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> what? But, yeah, it's like... Did she say anything about any spells? Um, she would, like, talk about moon spells and stuff like that. Oh, one of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. uh, let's be honest, though. You're cuddling, she's plucking out your hairs. Were you into it? I was kind of weirded out, to be honest but, like, in a good way? Uh, I mean, you stayed with her, right? Shortly after, yeah. How long did you, stay, how long did you date her for? Honestly, it was just a couple months. Maybe, like, two months, three months. Too long. <laughs> and then what was the breakup process? You called things off? Uh, yeah, so it was kind of a crazy process. Like, it was actually on her birthday, and so it, this actually took That's place. That's kind of on you, dude, a little you bit. You broke up with a demon on her birthday. Oh, no, like, uh, I so mean, you owe her some teeth. So basically, like, I was with her, like, in her car, and her friends were there, and they basically gave me, like, an edible. I almost ate the whole thing, and it had the same uh, substance, I think, uh, that's in meth, and I had a drug overdose on, on that day. This story keeps taking turns, dude. <laughs> wow. The same substance she that's would in get, meth. She gave you meth so that you'd lose the rest of your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> We're catching on. Yeah, okay, all yeah. right, all right, all right. So you did meth, then what? Yeah, I had a, I had a drug overdose after. and then You overdosed from it? Basically, yeah. They took me to the hospital. All the ambulances were coming and everything. Oh my God! So that in the hospital, were you like, "It's over," <laughs> or was she like, "I can heal you"? Like, what? What? How'd she react to that? So basically, we were on the next day, and the day I actually came back from the hospital, I was on YouTube, and I watched this video, and the video was 23 minutes to hell, and I watched the video, and I didn't know where, like, when I almost died, I didn't know where I was gonna go. Like, I, I believe in heaven and hell, but. Just because of who I was and what I was doing, like, I thought I was pretty much going to go to hell. So when I watched that video, like, it really scared me. Then I would be on FaceTime with her, and then she would be, like, you know, laughing and stuff. God damn. Oh That's my. the most evil shit I've ever heard. Babe, I think I might go to hell. <laughs> That's terrifying. So how did you end things with her? How, how was the official breakup? I would say, uh, literally, it was just, like, maybe, like, a, a normal breakup process. No, it wasn't. 
So like, <laughs> I want you to know right now, nothing about any way you could have done it was a normal breakup process. Uh, it was over, I think like on call. It was on a call. Yeah. Okay. So basically I was trying to break up with her, but I physically, I didn't know, I, I didn't really feel like doing it. So she did it for us. So it was really weird. <laughs> and she didn't like curse you or say you're gonna rue the day. Oh no, no, she didn't. She didn't curse me. And you ever heard anything about a voodoo doll about you or anything like that? Uh, no, it's kind of cool. I actually talked with her recently. Wait, wait, wait. I shook your hand, dog. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she What'd tricked she you into taking meth, and you're like, she's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> she knows some cool people. <laughs> So yeah, like, uh, well, basically, I want to tell you guys about this, um, this experience I had in August of last year, and this kind of led me to it. So basically, in, I would say August 1st, I hit rock bottom. Like, I was, my parents basically, like, kicked me out of my house and everything. And when I was inside my living room, I literally had a vision of Jesus Christ. Like, Jesus Christ literally came to me, and I felt the Holy Spirit descend on me. Shortly after, I started speaking in a heavenly language and everything. Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> that is Jesus' language. Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> So yeah, like basically when he gave me the vision, it was me and him and we were sitting on a bench together and he looked at me and he said, you're going to be okay, my son. So I gave basically Jesus Christ basically all my life. I had like a thousand dollars worth of like spirit boxes, Ouija boards. I literally broke everything. I broke everything. A lot of my horror stuff, like four, yeah, like, uh, like $4,000 worth of horror movie stuff. I threw like everything, everything like I was evil. throwing everything. So you, you got kicked out of your parents' house. You were in the lowest moment of your life. Were you basically homeless when you, when you had this Jesus experience? Yeah, and the first thing I brought with me at the time, I didn't know Jesus, but I brought the Bible. It was just an instinct like I knew. And then you saw Jesus. Like you had a, you had a vision of you and him on a bent. So yeah. you did meth twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. But I, did, yeah. I could just see Jesus being like, I will forgive you for everything you've done, but first... I need your baby teeth. Oh, my, oh. <laughs> oh my God. If Jesus asked for a baby teeth. <laughs> but yeah, it was just like, it was a really wild experience too because it really like shook up my whole life. And then uh, the Holy Spirit was telling me, he said that you're supposed to forgive everyone and love your enemies. So basically I just told her about Jesus and, you know, just planted the seed with her. She just burst into flames or what? <laughs> <laughs> was she not happy about it? Um, she was kind of receptive a little bit, yeah. Hmm. Surprisingly, a little receptive, yeah. Okay, Interesting. So you don't think though, like there's no chance that she didn't take your hair and your blood and your fingernails and your baby teeth and turn you into a voodoo doll, <laughs> right? I don't. I don't think so. No. And it, it was really crazy too. I want to tell you guys this too because. Like, this is gonna um, be when good. I would this be, is gonna be good. when I would be like into like going to like haunted places and stuff, like I always kind of wonder like, what are these things and stuff? But when I got saved by Jesus Christ, when the Holy Spirit came onto me, then I literally started going to my friends' houses and there was full on exorcisms in their houses, like literally through God, literally. <laughs> Fuck healings too. People's like whole wrist got healed and everything. No way. A hundred percent. That's f insane dude and i have videos of it all what i have videos what? of it all yeah and of course the f projector's broken <laughs> you have God videos of people's wrists and wounds miraculously he healing in front of you uh not the wrist one but the the exorcism yes and what, what do you visually see in the exorcism video a hundred percent yes so you'll what see do, the what manifest see? yeah what do you see though what, like, what happens is it, what does it visu the, visually look the like the demonic spirits uh they talk out of them there was this one time I brought one of my friends to a FedEx parking lot, and through the Holy Spirit, he started speaking. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> but yeah, like it was basically like through, through the Holy Spirit, like when I was doing deliverance on my friend, uh, he started speaking in, a, in demonic tongues, and his eyes started rolling back in the middle of a FedEx parking lot. <laughs> I think it's called a heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> in a FedEx parking lot? Literally, yeah. Is it what's in the name of Amazon Prime. <laughs> I repel you. <laughs> That's what it's short for, Fed Exorcism. Fed Exorcism! <laughs> I'm fed up with exorcisms. Interesting. Holy sh this story unraveled. 
<laughs> so yeah, like it was a wild experience. So basically in August, like what I did was I just believed that Jesus Christ is Lord. And once you believe in him, then you repent of sins too. So that's a process that could be any type of sin. And then he gives you the Holy Spirit. And when he descends on you, he leads you to live a Christian life. And yes. yeah, we, so, so yeah. When, when, you, when you hit rock bottom and you had this, um, this premonition of, of him and you on this, on this bench yeah. and everything, this was after you overdosed. It, was he at least like, hey, sorry, I'm late? This was like, I would say like, uh, I would say like maybe like a year and a half after. It was a year and a half after that? Were you, were you not like, dog? <laughs> like, I didn't know where I was going. And he was like, tea time or whatever. <laughs> I was at supper. <laughs> yeah, like, like when, he, when he gave me like that uh, vision, I just felt like complete uh, peace. I think I was crying like 30 minutes after. That's funny. Amazing, man. I'm so happy you had that experience. That's so cool. Isn't that so cool? The very real experience. Give it up for Jesus had? Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love this, dude. This is one of the best stories we've had so far. Yeah. Wow. What did, uh, what did Jesus look like? So basically, he came to me in a way where I recognized him. Because when, you, it, read, when you read God, uh, God's words, he's, uh, he's Jewish, so he's darker skinned. But he came to me in a way that I would recognize him in a white robe and everything. Was it Bill Cosby? <laughs> oh, man. Bro, if it was, wouldn't you be like, ah! <laughs> to hell we go. Ding. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, and, you know, I don't, I don't know how much I, I know for sure about heaven or hell. I hope it's real. I, I can I promise really you, fucking do, 100%. I hope it is. And that, to me, like, that... That version of it makes the most sense to me. That Jesus would take a form that you recognize. It's probably it's probably not one person that we all seen painted pictures of or whatever. It's probably whatever makes you feel the most comfortable and resonates with your soul. Like directly. the the biblical Jesus, it's uh, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. And I want to tell you guys this too. This happened January seventeenth. So I went to this Christian. Uh, uh, event and John Ramirez, he was a Satanist for 25 years and he came to Christ and he was casting demons out of me at that time. And that night when I went to sleep, uh, the Lord took me up to heaven. Like my soul left my body and I literally saw the top of heaven. A hundred percent. Dude, this is incredible this is one of the coolest stories i've ever heard wow oh, thank you thank you of course man wow. i mean do you guys have questions i heard it all shut up oh i promise you there's not a cooler story than this okay <laughs> this is f insane to me dude uh i david i, I can't thank you enough for sharing the story man i really appreciate you oh, coming yeah, up here opening you. up about yeah, it give it up y'all thank you yeah, thank you this next story is more of a memory that would haunt someone, not so much of a paranormal experience. And I kind of want to hear you read oh, this me? one. Okay. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Well, the scary part is me gonna be trying to read out loud. <laughs> t t t the, okay. So, um, <laughs> the time I was hooking up with my ex girlfriend in her family's bathroom, and her mother came in to take a. Sh and I was hiding in the shower and got caught and arrested. <laughs> Great follow-up. That's follow just up. the title. Yeah. Um, a lot of spelling errors as well, in case you guys were curious. All right. I have really haunted stories, but I'm going to tell you the most embarrassing story and funny story. My ex-girlfriend called me over to hook up, so they only have two bedrooms in the house, and she shares a, she shares a room with her brother. <laughs> like bunk beds? Like, what the? It's a situation. So we went in. To, we went in there. What wrong there? Went in their bed. One bedroom that the whole house shares. So we start hooking up, and her mom is knocking on the door. So I was getting down. So I was getting down at the time, covering her mouth, <laughs> try trying not to make her scream because we were getting down like heavy. So I. <laughs> It is not say that. Swear to God. <laughs> Every detail. We was like getting down heavy. So I hid in the shower. This is how I imagine him speaking actually. In the shower. And her mom came in and I was behind the shower curtain laying down. And her mom took the biggest massive diarrhea sh The smell. The smell. Nothing could ever compare. And being the app. And being the So I am. I recorded it. <laughs> you better have the video. You better have the video. And then she heard the camera record. <laughs> you imagine taking a sh and you hear the little ding. 
but the flash goes off. She went and pulled back the curtain, and I was butt naked, so I ran out of the house, and her father chased me down, and the best part is I left my pants in the shower with my keys, and my car was locked, so I hid in the neighbor's bush. They called the cops. The cops found me and arrested me for like three hours, butt naked. Of course, they gave me clothes, and her mom is like one of those super strict moms, so it was pretty much over between me and her, because... <laughs> I sent everyone, I sent, sent everyone the video of her mom shitting her brains out because her mom basically the biggest Karen you'll ever meet. Dude, you posted a video of her shit. That's not being a Karen. Oh my God. Um, she's the biggest Karen you'll ever meet. My ex-girlfriend forgave me, two different words she put. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend forgave me, but eventually a couple years ago, she was getting married, and I, the night before her wedding. Okay, I don't even know how to <laughs> fix that. I ran into her at Walmart, and we all get up in the, more, in the dressing room. Uh, what? I ran into her at Walmart, and we all get up in the dressing room at Walmart, where, like, the lingerie is... <laughs> yeah is an employee, is an employee, is an employee caught, and the cops came again. <laughs> but let's go to the cop end up giving, giving me a high five afterwards because I explained to him that this was my girlfriend and I wanted to hit it one last time because the last time her mom blocked me and basically shit is everywhere. <laughs> end of story. <laughs> Wow, give it up for that. That was good. Man. Emotional. Emotional. Ontario Public Schools, huh? Huh? I'd like to tell the story. Wait, that's you? Yes, it was speak to text. It was speak to text? Wait, hold on. Were you the same guy that said you had witchcraft performed on you by your ex? Is this the same ex? No, 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 different, different. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's better. Pick him up? Yeah. God damn. Jesus. Is that the best part? No. I'll come up. I'll come up. I'll just you, you, I'll walk up up. Forward. you don't have to go the long way. You don't Why? Have to go. All the way around. It's dramatic. Are you stopping at the Walmart dressing room? All the Where way are you around. going? <laughs> Bro could not have went longer. He, went, he almost went outside. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You know how I know you're a good talker? Because you talked and walked with your hands. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can sell shit at a kiosk for sure. What's up, man? Good to oh, meet you, Oh, I can't you, wait man. to hear this. This is going to be good. I cannot wait to hear this. You smell fantastic. I think the audience should know that. You smell great, well, First dude. of all, what's up, Ontario? <laughs> there we go. Yo, give it Show up for the these guys. Some love. Yo, give it up for these guys who literally sacrificed their souls for our entertainment. <laughs> for sure. That's they true. They go ghost hunting every time for entertainment. I want to say thank you because now I'm ghost hunting. Oh, there you go. hell yeah. Oh. This is not, you're the sexiest mime I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, first of all, first of all, what happened was basically. Mm. Oh, oh, shut oh, up. You guys want to hear about the ex-girlfriend? No, this story oh, first. We'll stay okay, here for okay, right right now. This, this you f the, the daughter in the bathroom with right, the shit and the cops. Basically, sister's best friend, her dad's close to my dad. You know, we're like kind of hooking up on the side action. No one knows about it. Okay. She's, she's sharing a bed, like bedroom with her brother at the time. This it's is weird. like 15 years ago, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So she calls me up like 3 o'clock in the morning, come down to her house, literally snuck in the f bathroom window, getting down. Nice. Come heavy. Get oh, yeah. heavy. heavy. You mentioned. Yeah. Heavy getting down, guys. Hand yeah. over the heavy. mouth. He's a pro. Heavy. Okay. So there's only one bathroom in this house. Like, legit one bathroom. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Her mother's pounding on the door, right? She got me butt-ass naked. Legit. Nice. Butt-ass naked. But she's wearing one of those, like, nightgowns. So I'm just like... Is she Wait, 77? Yeah. Something like that. Did she just get done watching a Lifetime movie? Yeah, I picture was. him having one of those nightcaps on like Scrooge McDuck would have. 100. Ooh, He's like dickin'. holding a lantern. <laughs> Continue. So anyways, so she's pounding on the door. And I'm like, fuck, right? She, she goes and says, one second. She flushes the toilet. She, I jump inside the shower. 
close it, this bitch started taking the biggest shit ever. I'm talking just loading out. Do now you have like, the video of the shit? I have it in my email. So what we could do is afterwards, I could find the video. Attach it to the pod episode. Okay. And I'll attach it. I'll okay. send it. I do have the video. Why not just not take the video? Because <laughs> then we'd have no story, it's like, would we? There's no story. There's no proof. I got to tell you what the f*** happened. Literally, you see my d- and all of a sudden you hear... Wait, keep the, the video. Do not send the video. Send the video. Send the video. Do not send the video. Send the video. Send the video. You send the video. see my d- out, and all of a sudden you just hear, bloop. And you see my dick, and all of a sudden you hear, go, what the f***? Open it up. And I go, ah! Jump out, start running. Her dad is f- huge, so he's chasing me. Jump inside the f- like, neighbor's, like, yard. F- light goes off. Her father's screaming, running. Neighbor f- me, I guess. I don't know. Called the cops. Cops came, got me. Actually, her mom, she wasn't really a Karen because she bailed me out. Like, she, she said it was... The mom bailed yeah, you out? She saw out. your dick. She seen my dick. She seen my dick. For sure, for sure. And you still posted the video. Well, yeah. She bailed well, you out yeah. of there. I, I didn't post it. I, I sent it out to, the, to my boys. That's not better. Yeah, that's how videos get out. Oh, so I just can't. I was kind I, of a dick. I'm not going to lie. Dude, I can't. It, you don't understand how funny it is to me personally. The idea of a video of just somebody's scared but hard dick in a shower. And you just hear. <laughs> and literally, you see it deflate. That's the funniest thing in the you world to me. You see it deflate as she's shitting. Like, as you hear the. <laughs> and it, well, I want to thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now the witchcraft story is fucked up. We're going to do one story at a time. You know what's also hilarious about this? Usually we're like, all right, is there a Josh here? We didn't even get to that. What if it wasn't you the whole time? It's not. That would be guys. Funny it's funny. not me. It's not a, No, really. But ex-wife, right. not ex-girlfriend. This was an ex-wife. He's starting the witchcraft story. Oh, we can only do one story at a time. Yeah, yeah. One story at a time. Is that the, is that the end of the story? No, yeah. Yeah, it's the end of the shit story. Josh, okay. thank you for sharing hey. the story, dog. One story at a time, baby. Thank you. Let's hey, go. give it up, y'all. Appreciate you, dog. Ew. Ew. <laughs> it's, it, no, it's our story now. You don't get to have it. No, it was pretty gross, man. Man. One more time for Josh, everybody. He plays at a piano bar. <laughs> Sexy hamburger. <laughs> he said he was going to send me the video. <laughs> he's going to send it to you? Yeah, he's getting my iCloud. Good, good. That was a good story. Yeah. That was, he's that was... going back a long way again. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like right there. All right, one more paranormal story. Yeah. You Elton, you it. feel up to it? You want me to read it? I can't read it. I'll read it. I'll read it. I swam in a satanic tunnel naked on a boogie board. Before that, I heard a person scream. <laughs> okay. Wait. Wait. So you either heard a demon or you scared a child. <laughs> it was around 1 a.m. in the morning. That's when that is. I went to the Cobbs Estate Haunted Forest. We were heading to the ritual tunnel. We were hearing noises along the way of the path. We finally reached the tunnel. We went inside and made it all the way to the very end. We heard a woman screaming outside the tunnel. We were all spooked. I was with two friends at the time, but before we headed out, I grabbed my boogie board and swam butt naked in the tunnel. Eventually, I had a supernatural encounter that changed my life forever. Wait. wait, wait. That should have been the story. Can I say something? Does the story say we heard a woman scream, so me and my two friends got naked and started boogie boarding? Maybe she's drowning. I mean, what? I've been in that tunnel before. There's no water in it. I've been in that tunnel numerous times. There is never, they blocked off the dam. I don't know what, they're just laying on a boogie board on concrete, oh. just surfs up, dude. <laughs> no water in there, dude. Where, where, you, where is this Cobb's estate? Uh, oh, LA area. LA area? Yeah. And they do like a lot of satanic rituals there? Is that, is that kind of the thing? Yeah, it's, it's known for it. Once God, one I, starts, it keeps going. I just, I cannot get with that shit. Dude, I, I, why, why are you trying to summon something up? It makes no sense. It's fun. Mm. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's so much fun. You want to talk to ghosts? I'm going to bring David back up here to do a f- prayer for all of us. If you don't <laughs> shut up, dude. <laughs> and I'll, re- I'll my read my God. own. I'll read my own, okay? Dude, it's terrifying to me. So you go, these people go to these tunnels. Mm-hmm. They try to conjure up the devil. Mm-hmm. And then, well, why, first of all, why did you have a boogie board? <laughs> that's, that's the biggest question. <laughs> Where, where, where is Michael? Huh? 
You back there? Michael? Michael. Give us a cow right there? Right there. You know you can use your words. <laughs> Instead of just walking through the darkness with... Dude, put your hood down, dog. You, what the fuck? Stop being so scary right now. Say something, Michael. <laughs> Jesus Christ, You man. still haven't spoken. <laughs> Wait, no, Bro, no, no, no. no. You... Before you get on the stage, can you speak? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. God. <laughs> All right, oh give it up for God, Michael, y'all. Michael! <laughs> what up, Michael? Good to meet you, brother. You have the energy of somebody who works at a blockbuster. <laughs> You really do, man. I like yeah, your energy a lot. Yeah, you can stand right here. Also, yeah. you just don't look like the kind of guy who was like, I'm ready to go d out in this tunnel right now. <laughs> you don't reek of that energy, man. You, you're fascinating to me. So can, can you kind of walk us through this journey a little bit? Why, we, why were you going to the tunnel in the first place? Yeah, so, I mean, like... <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't let you anywhere near a school. I want you to know that right now. <laughs> I, I heard that this place was, you know, like haunted, uh, and so I like, like specifically, I was I was trying to find the ritual tunnel, uh -huh. uh, just to just to check it out. And so I, I brought a boogie board because, like, I, I thought it would be funny <laughs> to just go in there and just be like, hey, you know, it here was we are. on the way. Like we, we were just going, and we heard these like crunching sounds around us. So kind of felt like I was being washed a bit. And yeah, we well, just went forward, just kept trying to go to the a tunnel. It was pretty dark, so eventually we found the tunnel and it felt like a mile long, honestly. It, uh, we how just long kept trudging through How long it. is the tunnel? It, it's pretty long. A like quarter mean, mile, you think? It, yeah. it felt like it took a good amount of time. And so okay. there was water, me, and it was, it was pretty dirty. And, well, yeah. like, and you still got naked. tunnel water. Still gonna, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll get there, bro. Don't look I'll, at me. Oh, like, I'm, don't go, yeah, I'm getting there, bro. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, bro. I'm getting yeah, okay. there. Yeah. Like as we're going, we saw this like wooden, like figurine just on on like a little ledge. It was just kind of weird. Like a Pinocchio. I was like, okay, this is this anything? Who knows? And then, uh, yeah, I mean, like actually, right before uh, we were gonna like 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 before I was gonna just you know strip down and boogie board. I literally <laughs> heard this woman scream, and they're like, ah. And like, was it like a high pitched scream? Yeah, yeah. This is this after you pulled your dick out? Well, what was that? This was, this was after you pulled your dick out or before? I think it was after, yeah. <laughs> oh, makes sense. I was like, that okay, makes sense. Here we go. That makes sense. Yeah. This actually makes so much sense. This isn't paranormal. This isn't paranormal at all. This that would have been me, 100%. This should be a case that should be on active patrol right now. Okay, so you hear this scream and you're like, that was weird. And then you just got like, in. It's like, yeah, okay, well, okay, well, there's that and here I am. So, <laughs> Didn't you say the water was disgusting and you were like, I'll put my bear in that? Yeah, and I, I mean, like, like, I thought it would be funny. So I was like, oh okay, God. let's do it, you know? And so, yeah, and so, like, I, uh, the other two people there were, were like, like, let's get out of here. They're screaming. It's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, no, let's go for it. So, <laughs> did your other two friends know you were gonna boogie board dick out? Uh, I, I mean, who knows? Did they <laughs> also pull their dicks out? <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't recall that happening. No. You'd, re Dude, you'd remember uh, if they I, did. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say real quick, I am praying that the next story says I went to a demonic tunnel and I saw a naked guy boogie boarding. Oh yeah, I do. No, but like, but like, 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 here's the thing. Like, I, I, I think that it definitely was some kind of a demonic influence because, you know, you know, later, like, I, I got into like a conspiracy theories and I, I was just really curious, right? And. Eventually, that, that led me down a path of kind of just, like, questioning everything a bit. Uh-huh. And um, I'd eventually, like, I started, um, shh, you, you know, previously, I was actually a, an atheist. And then after this experience, like, af like, sometime after, going through, like, these conspiracy theories and other things, um, I kind of opened my head up more to the po possibility that there actually is, like, a heaven and a hell and That's God and said. Satan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and like, like... Did you try meth? What? <laughs> Have you tried meth? No. I feel like a tunnel would be a good place to find some. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard there's a naked guy on a boogie board. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody sells meth, it's the naked dude in a tunnel with oh, a boogie yeah. board who's <laughs> like, Mahalo, my dude. <laughs> yeah. And like, and like, um, 
I started opening my mind up more to the possibility, that, like, hey, maybe there's something more than just like this world. Like, there definitely like, is. Like, like, so, what made you get naked? <laughs> I it would have been funny. funny to just get in on a boogie board in the first place. I was like, I thought this was going to be fun. Just boogie boarding in, like, the ritual tunnel and naked. Like, yeah, like, like let's do it. You know? All right, give it up for boogie boarding naked. <laughs> Big D- yeah, Michael. Nice nice okay. That's the boy. <laughs> Sometimes we'll like to end the show on a little more interactive note with the rest of the audience. And we like to open the floor up because a lot of people come to these shows, either they don't know about the Paranormal Channel, maybe they only know a little bit about us individually. So we wanted to kind of open the floor for a little bit of a QA. and a If anybody has any questions for us, preferably haunted related, but you know, anything story, belief based, whatever it may be, just to get to know us a little bit more. I know some people come here and they have some questions. Ooh. That's more hands than I thought. Um, right there. You want right, her? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Shoot. Well, I was gonna ask what you rather. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta. Would you rather? Bring it back. Let's go. So you're in a long-term relationship. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? What's... <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I'm tearing my mom up, dude. I've already, I've already been in there. You know what I mean? Technically, that's that's light work, wow. and it's my girl's mentality. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> it's a spiritual rebirth. It's a spiritual rebirth, exactly. <laughs> Next. Next question. Come on, guys. You Come thought on. you ate. <laughs> here, wait, right here. Have you ever experienced looking someone in the eyes that's been possessed by anyone else? Sure have. <laughs> Do you want to tell the story about like, after the, the Queen Mary shit? What? Oh. So when we went to Whaley? Okay. What happened at Whaley? Oh, so this was... Um, this was before we went to we went. This is we went, we went to Whaley before we went there for the podcast episode. Um, okay. This was right after we went to the Queen Mary, and the Queen Mary is this. If you don't know, that's this, the massive ship in Long Beach, right? It's it's wildly haunted. We went there, and because it's such a big ship, we all had to split up, right? And Elton invited these witches down from Canada, where I didn't even know they made witches. <laughs> So they come down, and basically, they were trying. El- Elton wanted to be uh, stuck in there. Like, there's, there's like one room in the entire ship that's supposed yep. to be notorious. B340. The most haunted room. What is it? B340. B340. Yep. That room is supposed to be the most haunted, right? So Elton had these witches take him in that room, and as I'm saying this, it's hotter than I thought it was. Um, but apparently, he was. Three of them, one of me. <laughs> possessed. <laughs> But basically, he wanted to summon all the negative spirits. They were doing these rituals in that room to summon all the evil spirits away from us investigating the rest of the ship to go into that room to use his body as a conduit. So (laughs) that's why his throat's sore. (laughs) That ain't it. (laughs) Yeah, you watch the channel. So he, he goes to this room. He's in there for like two hours. Good stamina. And then afterwards, afterwards, we go in there to like kind of end the episode and the investigation. We kind of want to talk to him about what he went through. And he was like, yeah, some weird stuff happened, but nothing that crazy. But earlier in the night, we had, we had, we had heard from the witches that a lot of times you can tell if somebody's possessed because if you look in somebody's eyes, a lot of times you can see eyes behind yep. their eyes. So a couple weeks after that, we were at the Whaley House down in San Diego, which is notoriously, it's known as like one of the most haunted houses in America. It's, it's a beautiful home. Check it out. And... Uh, we're at the, the, in like the little courtroom area and we're just kind of setting up. We're doing our little ritual where we knock on the table three times, introduce ourselves. We have candles lit up around the table. And as we're closing our eyes, holding our hands, going around the table, Elton is like, I can see golden eyes every time I, every time I close my eyelids. Yeah. And we look at him and behind his eyes was just kind of nothing. Yeah, empty. It was just, it was so freak. And then in like not even 30 seconds after that, our friend Corbin, who was with us, had to leave because he got like super nauseous it felt like somebody was like kind of stabbing him yep. in the stomach yep. like the entire night just got so weird after you said you were seeing eyes behind your eyes and you already kind of, they're, you're, already, you're always kind of glazed over but <laughs> not, not it wasn't like that it was, it, was, it was like looking at a different person's eyes yeah 100% to, it was fucking creepy to, to clarify what I said is I every time I closed my eyes I would see someone else staring at me I never said I saw eyes behind myself that's still not right <laughs> do you understand that look at this no eyes I don't, see, I don't see anything right now. 
Yeah, I remember we had a Super Bowl party around that same time, and we had so many friends come up to me, and they were like, hey, what's wrong with Elton? And I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, that doesn't look like Elton. And I would tell you, and you would just go, you would, no, <laughs> cool. No, untrue, untrue, very, very untrue. You never told me that anyone said anything about my eyes. You never told me you oh, saw until anything. after. You, I didn't. I didn't. Because it wasn't him. How convenient. Oh! How convenient. <laughs> no, no one ever told me. No one ever told no, me. Did you? Do did did we tell him about what the, what the witches said? Oh yeah. Right, and I didn't yeah. know that either. I never knew what the witches said. I never knew what you said. No one ever told me. I found out editing the videos six months later. Yeah, man, because we don't want to talk to a demon. Yeah. So. Uh... Or my friend back. <laughs> The witches from Canada pulled me aside one day and they actually told me, like, can you please watch over Elton and do whatever you can to actually go get him cleansed or something? Because you didn't want to be cleansed after you let whatever it was inside the Queen Mary, like, possess you. Like, you were fine, because at the end of the day, even that night, you were like, nothing happened. Do you like, know why? Because they told me nothing happened. <laughs> they said to me... That was a failure. I'm sorry for wasting your time. It's in the video. It's in the video that they say that. So they lied to me and told you that, and none of you ever said anything to me. Friends, fuck you. Elton wouldn't speak to us like this. Okay? Elton, so we know you're in Diablo, there. Diablo, back the fuck up, all right? Elton. Watch your tone, because I know a goddamn priest back there who will feed Elton's body meth if need be. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Elton, Elton pulls baby teeth out of his mouth. <laughs> Damn, good thing he didn't read the prayer. It started levitating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too dangerous. So yes, wow. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the, the closest experience for that. You can look at me while I'm talking to you answering your question. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's basically our closest experience for that. It's a fantastic question. Yeah. I'm okay. We've done, we've done, we've done too many stories. I think we can end on one more question in a week. You gotta. I want to add to the last guy. I've done a little hiking and I've been to that tunnel. You been to that tunnel? Yeah. Was it you that screamed? <laughs> we were in the tunnel, you know, whatever, and we take a picture. And now that he said there's a lady screaming, we take a picture and on our picture there's a lady in the picture, but on the tunnel there's nothing there. So now that he's saying there's a lady screaming, I kind of. So she was saying that in that same tunnel that he went to, uh, Mike, that Michael went to with a woman scream, she went to that same tunnel, took a photo, and in the photo, there's a woman in the photo that's, that wasn't actually there. Do you have the photo with you? I don't. Good talk. <laughs> kind of anti. Send it, send it, send it an email if we yeah. can put it, if we can put it, it in the us. pod. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, send it over AIM. Oh, and I'll let you pick a last question. Whoever, use your best oh, wait, back there? I'll go, I'll go back yep. here. The, the, yeah. The, the, yeah. Um, so in your last few videos, you guys have been saying like you've been catching the most paranormal evidence and things like that. But then you say that you don't believe in ghosts. Yeah. Do you ghosts. So like, can you explain what your vision is when you say like I I don't believe in ghosts, but this paranormal activity is going on and it's the best thing we've got? Like, what do you believe in then? <laughs> Thank you. Great question. You, you wanna you wanna know what I believe in? You know what I wanna believe in? Making you click on the video. <laughs> That's my job. That's my job. But, my however, jo oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm saying my job is not to dictate to you what's real or not. My job is to present to you the evidence that we catch. That's what I'm saying. The evidence. It's up to you to decide whether or not you believe it's real or not. I'm not here to force feed your beliefs down your throat. I'm here to present to you the best video I can possibly make. And I hope that you make your own decisions. That's the difference, okay? That, that's what my videos are. And I've always been clear from day one that I don't believe. I choose to stay skeptical because I think it creates a balance. If you believe every noise you hear, then yeah, it's always a lady in the tunnel screaming and not some mom who's terrified, right? I choose to create that balance and that's why our videos work and are just full of like horse special effects in the background of every video. So, 
That is my stance on why I say that. And I only say it when it's true, for the record. We always capture things that are better than the last because we've gotten better, we use better tools, and we've gotten better at what we do. So I'm not trying to manipulate anything, but yes, I have bills to pay, and I need you to <laughs> click on the video. Well, as, as somebody who makes no money from these videos, we've seen some shit, okay? <laughs> Every time, man. Almost, not, I can't say every, and honestly, that's what makes it so special, is that there's not evidence everywhere we go. Right. That's what, mm -hmm. and when something does happen, that makes it so much more special, and we're like, holy fuck. I can't believe this device that went off that hasn't gone off for yep. four investigations yep. or, or something yeah. like if that. If only if you knew how many videos we deleted, how many how many thousands of not thousands but like hundreds of hours of videos that we've just been like, we spent our entire night talking to no one oh, in yeah. a haunted basement. Yeah, you ever talk in a garage for ten hours and to then, nobody? And then not upload it. It's embarrassing. Okay, but we do that yeah. for you. And, that, and that's the balance of it. But you don't see the times that we don't get anything. So when we do get stuff, it's cool. Get you guys investing back into like the channel. Yeah. Of course. My voice sounds great. He started talking about money. Your voice started working again, huh? <laughs> yeah, <my laughs> I love voice, it. Voice is shot, bro. Hurt so much. <laughs> no, of course. It's, it's so much fun. And, and exactly like he said, it's like we're, we're, we are just presenting exactly what happened to us. Yeah. He believes it's something else. I believe it's something different than that. Mm -hmm. He might believe, he's more on my side. He, 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 he believes in the You're yeah. still yeah. the tech guy. I will always give it the benefit of the doubt, but at the end of the day, if someone doesn't question it, then there's no balance. That's very yeah. true. I mean, that's why, I mean, you watch, there's certain ghost hunting shows, you watch that every creak in the floorboard is like, ah, oh, it's a demon. It's like, no, somebody farted, dude. Yeah. Like, not, Which, not by everything the way, is scary. We've you know? caught a fart in one of our videos. And it's we, usually Evan. Evan be farting in these videos. You just have no fucking idea. I smell rotten eggs. And Yo, wait. Like, I got to say this real quick. This is so funny. So last year, we were doing a tour, and we were doing investigations with like groups of like 20 people. And there was, it was a cop, right? Was he a cop? We're in the middle of this investigation, and everyone is dead silence. And then out of nowhere, you just hear... And everyone screams and goes running. The whole night, we're like, yo, what was that noise? As we're leaving, the cop comes up to us, and he goes, hey, so I farted, and everyone freaked out. It I wasn't the cop. Wait, it wasn't the cop? It was Marty, our camera guy. It was, wait, it was Marty? It was Marty who farted, and he didn't want to say anything because he didn't want to ruin their night. Wave, Marty. Say hi, Marty. That's the farter. <laughs> Stinking ass boy. We got a stinky boy in here. To be fair, he's from Estonia. That's how they say hello. Yeah. So Don't get says. close to him. He's not a scratch and sniff, okay? <laughs> what is that? For me? Sorry, fellas. Oh, I don't feel left oh, out. I was like, <laughs> for me? They last for three years? What's their technique? You wanted to ask me out? Uh, He's taken. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sweet. Come Fuck, on, man. We should have played the dating Come game. On. We should have played the dating game this episode. He's mine. <laughs> we'll talk. Thank you. You believe in ghosts? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, would you? <laughs> all right. Would you rather <laughs> have? <laughs> Would you rather have a ghost best friend <laughs> that's Bill Cosby <laughs> or, or the Annabelle doll? <laughs> which, which, which would it be? Annabelle. Annabelle? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Sorry. Sorry. You left me alone. You left me hanging. There's one over there. All right. So if you guys have, uh, do you, have you guys ever experienced a sexual encounter with some paranormal stuff? Yes. A, a sexual encounter with some paranormal oh, yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah. You a demon? For sure. Oh. Are you a demon? <laughs> Semen demon? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I have a great story for you guys. What, uh, what hotel was this at? Shanley. Shanley Hotel. La Quinta. Okay. So I'm going to make this quick, Okay. 
This is literally one of like the funniest evidence we've ever got. So there's this device called an SLS, and it literally is like an Xbox Connect. Like if you aim the camera at something, it picks you up as a stick figure, right? You know, like the Just Dance game and all that shit. So we're in a room, and it's a room where a prostitute haunts, okay? And there's this guy that keeps coming back to this room because he's became really good friends with this prostitute, okay? And it's a ghost, okay? He's also married. He brought his wife there one time and he told us that the, that the ghost called her like a cunt. So he never brought his wife back. So he only goes there by himself. But this is what happened while he was investigating with us. So he goes... And he lays on, like, her bed. What was her name? Was it Anna? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Anna, Anna, Anna. So he goes and he lays on Anna's bed. And I'm standing outside of the door. And I'm holding the SLS. And then he also has a device next to him on the bed that just shouts out random words. So as he's laying there, he picks out, like, a 20 out of his pocket and, like, puts it on the dresser. And then out of nowhere, a stick figure is, like, standing on top of him on the bed. And I'm like, oh, shit. Elton, look at this. Then the stick figure slowly bends down. So it looks like she's literally straddling him while he's laying, okay? Then the stick figure moves up and is sitting on his face. <laughs> then the device that's next to him says magic pillow came, okay? Shut up. Then... I move the SLS over to a chair that is on the other side of the room from the bed, and I swear to God, this is a true story, guys. We have video evidence of this. There is a stick figure on the other side of the room, just sitting, going like this. Shut up. Swear to God. There was a ghost getting caught. And we got evidence of it. For $20? So go to p.com slash haunted homies, and you can see our footage there. Um, we also have a premium membership. That's fucking amazing. I haven't, I haven't seen that episode yet. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it'll come out. Come out in a few weeks. Actually, yeah. a few months. Oh, it's not out yet? No. Ooh. Yeah, we, we have like 28 videos preloaded now. Oh, I'm mm. so excited for The Conjuring House. Mm. That was fucking awesome. I, we just went a couple weeks ago. It was my first time, their second time. Awesome. Yeah, I'll be out in October. Damn. Mm -hmm. A little ways away. Yeah. Oh, what? Bit away? Yeah. yeah. How's your throat feeling? Not great. No? You feel like I'm fucking dying. You want to say a piece? You want to you wrap this thing up peacefully? You can, you can, you can wrap it up. Well, all right. Well, um, this, uh, you know, I'm scared to wrap it up because as we were ending the last show last time, these girls started fighting in the Dead front, ass. In the, in the front Dead row. Dead security had to like grab the whole family and then they started fighting security. Literally, she was screaming at Matt. Yeah. I wouldn't go on a date with her. <laughs> and she, you're so sweet. I didn't, even, I didn't even get your name. What is it? Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> oh, you little. You're from where? Saint from St. Louis. They sound like that in St. Louis. For real? <laughs> Missouri. Missouri. How old are you? Twenty-five. 25? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. You're not forty, but give it time. Yeah. Taylor, it was very nice to meet you. I hope you had a good time tonight. And I hope the rest of you had a great time tonight as well. We cannot thank you enough for coming out on a Monday night to just hang out with us, shoot the shit, play some games, hear some fun stories, meet some great people. We also got some merch at the oh, front, well, guys. You. Look at this nice hat, right? We also have uh, towels, mm -hmm. we have, we have, uh, shirts. We have some shirts. We have some uh, Haunted Homie shirts. She's got one on! Model it yeah. for us next time. We got a Haunted Homies uh, hoodie that, uh, oh no, you had it on last episode. Right Cute. Boom. 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 And if you guys it. want, uh, Matt actually tripped over the box of hoodies earlier and fell on them. <laughs> so if you get a hoodie, Dick you first, can smell yeah. them. If they're stuck together, that's packaging. Yeah. So thank you all yeah, so much. Yeah, thank you guys Ontario. for coming. Seriously. Get home safely. Let's drive safe. We'll see you guys very soon.